In this lecture, we'll be creating an HTML form. This is a sample of the form we'll be creating. It's an employment application form. It asks the user for some personal information. The form consists of text fields, select menus, check boxes, radio buttons, text areas, and the submit and reset button. The form inputs and input labels are organized into a table. So let's get started. You need to open the form.html file in the downloads folder corresponding to this lecture. With the form.html file open, you'll notice that the basic page structure is already set up. The HTML code also contains a table with two columns and nine rows in the body. We'll use this table for our form fields. Let's preview the file just to make sure our table is visible and there are no errors in the code. This is what your page should look like initially. Just an empty table with our two columns and nine rows. The first thing we need to do to create our form is insert our open and close form tags. These tags will contain all the HTML code pertaining to our form fields, such as text inputs, select menus, submission buttons, and other form elements. It's very important to create the form tags first, otherwise the form will not work. The form tags must encompass the entire table because all our form fields will be contained within the table. The form tag also has important attributes that we must define. First, it's a good practice to name the form so that if you create multiple forms on the same page, each can be distinguished from one another. We'll name this form employment. Next, we need to instruct our browser on where to send this form data upon submission. This is known as the form action. In our case, we'll be sending the data to a PHP script, which will instruct our web server on how the data should be processed. For the form action, let's type in send.php. We will create send.php in the PHP section of this course. In addition to the action attribute, we must also specify a method of tr data transmission. A form method tells the browser to submit the data through the post or get command. For now, we'll define the method as post. We'll explore both these methods in more detail in the next lecture. 